Well, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. Good morning to you all. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I went out for my morning walk. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's just been one of those great morning to go out for a walk and and just, I don't know, it's just really, just really just a good morning for a walk. Um, so, just enjoyed my morning walk, and uh, so, hope you're having a great morning, and I'm trying to find two people I always invite in here. So, the verse today is kind of an interesting verse, and... Uh, it's Jeremiah 17, 9 through 10. And uh, listen to the beginning. And the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward to their conduct according to what their deeds deserve. And I read that this morning. I went, wow. I says that's pretty a deep verse. It begins really um, kind of negative. I mean, the heart is deceitful, and all all things are beyond above all things and beyond cure. The heart is deceitful and beyond cure. And uh, I don't know how many times I've uh, talked to people and they say, Ah, I'm a you know bad person you know we live in a sinful world and and we are good morning sherry and the bible says that we are all sinners falling short of the glory of god and this passage in jeremiah 17 it says that our heart is deceitful and above all things and beyond cure and uh and so i just uh, i was thinking about that as if uh if our heart is deceitful and beyond cure, like this pastor says, then um, the very fact is we are, good morning, and then what's the purpose? You know, I'm thinking, but then it says the Lord searches our heart and examines our mind and rewards to their conduct according to what their deeds are then that brings in hope that brings in hope that there is hope right because if we're all sinners falling short of the glory of god then we go to the next part that we are saved by grace and then we go even beyond that that we can ask for forgiveness and god will forgive us and it it, it gets so much better yes Um, we, our hearts in this world is crazy. I mean, you think about it is we are truly (laughs) kind of messed up. I mean, we live in a pretty crazy world in our hearts and stuff. And, but it says the Lord searches our heart and examine our mind, man. I, I go back to the old thing that, you know, President Bush's wife say no to drugs and they have that egg that cracks in the, the pan and fizzles and says, this is your brain on drugs. Remember that? And I'm just thinking, here's God examining our brain. <laughs> it's not fizzling and this is your brain on drugs. I'm just thinking, man, if when, as the Lord examines our heart and our mind, what does he see? And then when he looks at us, you know, he does weep, you know, because uh, we have worldly minds and we have a worldly heart. But as we follow after him, as we seek after him, as we love him, as we truly pursue him, and we ask for forgiveness, the Bible says he's truly going to forgive us. And when we 
follow after him. It's just an amazing thought that he loves us that much. He, you know, in Matthew and John and Mark and Luke, the gospel, you know, it talks about how he, God sent his only begotten son for us. I think that's so cool. And so when you tie this all together, yes, it's true. Our deceitful heart is, is a de deceitful heart above all things and beyond cure. But who can understand it? The Lord. Because he, he searches our heart and our mind and rewards our conduct according to their, the deceit, deeds that they deserve. But, here's the, here's the but, is that we ask for forgiveness and then he'll forgive us. Right? So, there's, there's our saving grace. We have a relationship with God and he forgives us. I think that's so cool. And so important to recognize that he loves us so much. He loves you and me. And and uh, the Bible says that when we ask for forgiveness, he'll forgive us and throw him further than the eye can see. And I think that's so important to understand and recognize how much he loves us. But yeah, if you if you don't know Christ, there's there's one direction that's going to hell you know but my prayer is that each one of us know have a relationship with Christ and and truly truly uh, commit our lives to Christ so anyways here's a verse today just some deep thoughts to get your day started <laughs> so uh, Jeremiah 17 9 through 10 so get out your notebook write it down I've got mine all right here it is um, the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. And uh, who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward their, to their conduct according to what their deeds deserve. And so write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. And then P, pray. Uh, I just got a couple prayer requests. Um, my cousin Louie still. His shoulder, I haven't heard anything different. My wife's been sick. My daughter Abby's been sick. So I think I gave him what I had last week. Um, so... So I, uh, so I just, uh, and then, and then unspokens. So God is so good. He just keeps answering. I, I do. It's so cool. Yesterday I was praying, um, uh, uh, I was praying about a, a gentleman that was, a, that has been attending my church and then had missed a couple Sundays and. I prayed about it during my prayer walk yesterday, and and, and I, I was driving my car up a street, and I looked up, and there he was. So I uh, I pulled over to my car, and I says, "Hey, bro!" And he goes, "Hey, pastor!" And I says, "Man, I haven't seen you in church." I says, "Yeah, I've been work." He got a job because he's been without a job. We've been praying for a job for him. He got a job working six days a week. And he just uh, passed his anonymous group. I, I can't. I can't remember if it's narcotic, NA or AA, but he just passed it. He just got through the program, and he was just so excited about that. Um, just a lot of wins in his life right now, and so uh, he was just telling me about that. He told me he just moved to a new place, and and just excited about that. And I says, Well, I really want to see you in church. He says, yeah, man, I've been helping my dad out. I says, well, if I don't see you Sunday morning, hope to see you Sunday night. He says, I'll be in church. And that just really blessed me that day, yesterday. I was just thinking about how cool God is that in the middle of just, you know, in your prayer, as you, you think God, uh, God doesn't hear you, he does hear you. So if you have prayer requests or you just have needs, Remember, bring him before the Lord. He does listen. And he does answer them. So, um, 
Let's just pray, okay? Lord, I thank you so much for today. I pray for my cousin Louie that you heal his shoulders. I pray for my wife, Carrie, and <coughs> my daughter, Abby, that you heal them from this sickness. Lord, I pray for the unspoken that we all have, Lord God, whatever they may be. Lord, whether it's financial or sickness or, Lord, you know what they are, Lord. And I pray that you just intervene and you just minister and take care of them. Lord, we give you this day, Lord, from beginning to end, Lord God. May we have the opportunity to bless somebody today. But Lord, may you also give us this opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. Lord, so today we just give you this day. And Lord, we thank you for it. And uh, Do what you do. You shine. Lord, we thank you for it in your name. Amen. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Be blessed and honor Jesus with all you do. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.